Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Father Hoff here with the uh, Head of School announcements for January 13th. Uh, happy to be with all of you. Happy New Year. A lot of great things to cover today, so we're going to get right into the uh, we're going to get right into what we need to do. Just want to make sure that we are properly uh, working here and that everything is is good. Give me one second, I want to make sure that I'm with everybody. Good. Okay, so a couple things. First, COVID um, update. Uh, we continue to be well. Um, you know, we know that there were some people who had, uh, you know, some different uh, COVID scares and things, especially with the holidays. But as we've come back to school, um, we're in a good place. We continue to sanitize. We continue to make sure that we're social distanced. Um, and as of right now, uh, I've got no notif notifications um, from families that we need to add it to our list, uh, any active COVID cases or anything of that nature. So I spoke with the students this morning as well as the faculty after mass. It is so important that we remain vigilant. Um, if you are a person who, if, if a child is not well, keep them home. Um, if someone in the house is getting tested for COVID because we're not sure, keep them home. Um, if they, you have a situation where you need to stay home and so that the students can access the virtual learning, please contact Mrs. Susco either by phone here at the school, her extension is 114, or uh, by emailing her at jsusco at mariancatholichs.org. Um, just an update on the academic side of things. We had uh, one of our teachers, our English teachers, Dr. Radin Lechtleitner uh, resigned last week to um, pursue other employment opportunities um, and we wish her very well. We thank her for all of the great uh, gifts and talents that she shared with us while she was here at Marian Catholic. Uh, but I'm happy to announce today that uh, through the grace of God and um, you know everything coming together properly, we have a new teacher for that position um, and her name is Ms. Janet Whalen. She comes to us uh, with a, a very impressive background, um, and we look forward to all of the great things that she's going to uh, bring to our students in the area of English. Also, in the interim between the changeover of the teachers, uh, it was great to see a, a name who that a name that is very familiar uh, to those within the Marian Catholic family for many years. Uh, Mrs. Kathy McDonald um, has joined us for a few days to help us in the interim. And uh, it's been great to see her back in the building and her sharing her gifts as well. I want to update everyone on the head of school search. Again, this year, uh, my time as head of school is on an interim basis. And so the search um, has been underway. We posted the prospectus about, uh, about the search, uh, I believe it was two months ago. And since then, the board has received an update from Partners in Mission um, about the search. Uh, there are multiple candidates who have applied um, and the application process is still open um, and the candidates who have applied are going through the process. And so this is going to be a process over the next few months. Uh, we're going to continue um, to give as much information as we can to keep everyone within the Marian Catholic family and the larger Marian community updated on the progress that we are making in uh, selecting the new head of school. Uh, but right now, everything is looking positive and going in the right direction. I want to invite everyone um, to something that we started last year uh, when I was on the board uh, here at Marian Catholic. And I think it's a really great opportunity uh, for folks to remain informed about what's happening. Um, what has happened is happening and will be happening at Marian Catholic High School, which is our annual state of the school. Uh, we had it last year at the beginning of Catholic Schools Week. This year it will happen during Catholic Schools Week as well, and it will be on Wednesday, February the 3rd at 6.30 p.m., and it is going to be virtual. So we're going to post the information about that so that uh, everyone can join us uh, through a Zoom link virtually um, to be able to uh, learn about what's going on um, from all the different department areas uh, in the school, um, and again, where we've come from, where we are, and where we're going into the future. So mark your calendars again Wednesday, February the 3rd uh, at 6.30 p.m. and it will be a virtual event. Um, just jumping back, I'm sorry about that, jumping around here. Uh, going back to academics, um, we're coming to the end of the second marking period 
And so again, a reminder to all of our families that we will not be having midterms this year because of COVID-19 and the, the many different uh, problems that COVID has caused. Uh, but our students are finishing strong for the second quarter and we look forward to coming to the third quarter. A reminder too to our families that report cards will only be accessible through the parent portal. And with that, um, when it comes to the parent portal, the student portal, anything to do with our Vision MMS platform um, and also with things that uh, regard our one call system, uh, Mr. Mike Grimmer, uh, who is our music director and music teacher here in the school, also works um, on that sort of database uh, front for us, also along with the Google Classroom platform. Um, we actually have a dedicated line for him now. So uh, for our parents, um, if you need to speak with Mr. Grimmer concerning any of those, again, technological connectivity issues, uh, whether it is with Vision, uh, whether it's with the Google Classroom or the One Call system, his extension here at the school is 124. And again, that's for Mr. Mike Brenner. Our Blue and Gold Club, formerly known as the Men of Marion, um, has made some transition. Uh, and I'm happy to announce that uh, Mr. Rick Riemann, one of our parents, is now the president. Um, Mr. John Patton, uh, who is a, a parent of alumni um, and also has a long history. He's also our current uh, boys basketball coach, um, is now in the past president position. And there's a lot of great things coming from the Blue and Gold Club, and we look forward to the future um, coming up. Uh, well, actually, currently they have their drive for the lottery calendars, so some of those are still available if you're interested. Uh, please reach out. Um, the information for the Blue and Gold is on the website. Also, uh, they the Polar Plunge is coming up the end of the month. That's Saturday, January 30th. So I know the information just went out yesterday, I believe. Uh, they've been doing the, uh, the solicitation for the donors. Um, and the sponsors, and now we're moving on to actually people plunging. So we invite you, uh, come see either uh, those of us who are plunging or join me along with many others uh, as part of the plungers uh, to raise money for Marion Catholic High School. It's a, a really great thing um, that we do and just another one of the fun events that also benefits our students in many ways. On an advancement side of things, the uh, the Advancement Office is working on the Marion Fund, and I know I mentioned this in my last Head of School announcements. We have an anonymous donor that's given $50,000 uh, that is a match gift for either new donors or donors who gave, and those new donors could be uh, people who have never given or people who just didn't give last year or haven't given for a few years. So as you know people who are connected to Marion who really want to support Catholic education, um, you know, reach out to them or reach out to us and we'll reach out to them about the great opportunities that there are to be able to uh, support Marion Catholic High School. So that match gift is for persons who have never given, haven't given, or didn't give last year, or did give last year and multiply their last year's gift by three. Um, so that's what we need. Uh, those are the type of persons that we need in addition to all those who regularly give to our Marion Fund and we're so thankful for those who give to the Marion Fund because it allows us to do the great things that we do here at Marion Catholic High School. So I'm really uh, thankful for that. On an employment standpoint, uh, we mentioned about a new teacher earlier. Uh, one of the things we've also posted for is for a nighttime custodian um, on a part-time basis. Uh, and I'm appealing um, through this mode as well. If you know someone who is looking for an evening part-time job, um, we need that evening custodian position uh, to be filled. And so that, uh, again, all of that information is under the employment section of the website. Uh, you can reach out to me personally about it, but we are looking for that person to be the nighttime custodian here at Marion Catholic High School. One of the things that was important to us from a marketing standpoint was to make sure that we were telling the Marion story well. And we've done a lot to increase that uh, Mrs. Mary Milosh, who is our Director of Enrollment Management, has brought a lot to the position along with our Marketing Manager, Amy Santos. One of the things that we did uh, in the fall was to put together uh, some videos. And you may have seen these. Uh, we debuted the general video uh, when I uh, offered my Christmas message to everyone. Again, it's on our YouTube channel uh, for Marion Catholic High School. We shared it on our social media. Uh, really, really great stuff. Um, one of the things that I love about those videos is that we don't uh, prep people, we don't give people a script. Um, they sit down with the interviewer completely without preparation and just talk honestly about what they, why they love Mary Catholic um, and answer the questions that the interviewer asks. And so 
we've aired the uh, general video. Uh, last Wednesday, we aired the video on a family, uh, or tra a tradition of family, um, which was really an awesome video. We have two more to go, one on our exceptional edu education and also one on the faith component of the school. So the third video will air next Wednesday and then two wet weeks after that, which is Catholic Schools Week, will come to the completion of our airing of our new videos. Along with that, we got some great video shots of the entire campus and our students in action. And you'll notice that the uh, home banner on the homepage of the website uh, is actually video now instead of uh, pictures. So I, I invite you to take a look at that. Um, some really great things that we're able to do with technology. And again, the ability to continue to tell the story. Please share those videos with alumni, benefactors, neighbors, community members, uh, people who may be thinking about marrying Catholic. They do a really great job at telling our story. Um, the last thing I wanted to add in was the uh, about our athletics. Uh, we've had some questions um, that people have asked uh, when it comes to the restrictions that we have in place right now with who can and can't come to our athletic events. And again, this is all because of COVID-19. Following the governor's directives, we can only allow 10% of our seating capacity in the gymnasium into the gym. This includes the athletes, the coaches, the support staff in the gymnasium. And so when we are only limited to one parent per, per player in the gym, two, uh, the, two parents for our seniors um, because it is their last year, uh, and we can't allow visitor spectators as well as, as many other spectators that want to come, we wish we could, but we want to keep everyone safe and we want to follow properly the guidance um, from the state of Pennsylvania. Um, we're hoping that that can maybe ease up along the season, but again, we're just going to have to see with things happening with vaccines and things like that, we'll see where we go. But I just wanted to clarify where that came from and why we're doing what we're doing um, in regards to the, uh, the, the spectator limitations for our athletic events. The really cool thing that's about to happen is right now, um, when you look back at volleyball and football, we had just live streams on our Facebook page. Um, but we actually invested in a, pro, or in a, a system called, uh, through Huddle. A lot of teams use Huddle as a way to break down film and stuff like that. But now we're going to be able to live stream um, our games through Huddle. So there will be more information coming out about that. We're working through some of the technical things right now. Um, the, the camera is installed in the gym and we're looking forward to being able to use that. Uh, for future um, athletic events. So as soon as we know that, we will update everyone um, and, and be able to be here with us virtually, but still be here with us for our, our student athletes um, and the great things that, that they do. So that's all that I have for today. A lot of great things going on. Um, it's a new year, it's 2021. It's really exciting. Uh, more and more things to come. We'll be back here with you for the Head of School announcements in two weeks on January the 27th. It will be the Wednesday before the Polar Plunge, the Wednesday before Catholic Schools Week, uh, and I'm sure I'll have a lot of great things to update you on at that point. But again, thank you so much for the continued support uh, for our students, uh, for our faculty, staff, and administration, from our parents, from our alumni, from our benefactors, from the greater community. Uh, just, just every day, something new happens um, that is just improving upon uh, the great foundation and the great tradition here at Marian Catholic. And I, I'm so thankful um, and blessed to be in this position at head of school. I want you to know that I'm praying for you to Jesus through Mary. And we'll look forward to seeing you um, at the next head of school announcements. And in any other way that we can be of assistance, please do not hesitate to contact us. Have a blessed day.